What's up, docs? This is Saber Wolf Final Four. We're gonna go in heavy today with a triple feature of matches with Bronzong Age Slash V Max Metal Transfer Bronzong, not the Metal Links one. It's all about moving metal energies, not attaching them from the disco pile for this deck, and getting the combo with Max Potion, and of course utilizing different attackers very easily. It sucks that we don't have uh, you know free switching like the Dark Box has with Dark Cry. And I guess even water decks with Aqua Patch, at least they could use Manaphy, even if it's uh, very weak HP wise. But we're going to do what we can with this deck, and you guys are going to see like the differences and how it can play, I guess. Uh, if we don't brick, we're good. We should still be good. So I got a good start here playing first. I got Quick Ball, Metal Energies, and even Cynthia. So what we're going to do is we're going to get Zacian, since I can't. Uh, play the supporter immediately. At least I can use Interpret Sword. And usually you do want to get uh, Zacian as soon as possible anyway, even if you do have a supporter and you play second. Because, you know, you get that draw when you're not going to do much in the beginning anyway. Unless you can use uh, the GX attack of uh, Melmetal, of course. So my opponent is playing Mad Party. It's pretty obvious because of that Dedene. Uh, there's no way it would be anything else, but you never know, I guess. Uh, battle Compressor, going to start dumping stuff, and, I mean, yeah, who am I kidding? It's it's Map Party. Now, this deck isn't actually too threatening against us. Uh, it doesn't negate my abilities. It doesn't really do much to hinder our main combos. And as VMAX Pokemon, you know, with the... Uh, frying pan and after I use Melmetal's GX attack having so much HP and blocking block so much damage you know they can never really get that one hit KO even if they dump everybody so I can just use the max potion heal the damage it's just very easy to get the job done and in this case got the Bronzong already evolved so we can use double V and get that early first KO I mean even something like double uh, they're probably going to have a hard time getting the one-hit KO immediately. But, you know, for the regular V Pokemon, most of them, eventually they will be able to do like 220, I suppose. Okay, so get the first prize, and it's his turn again. I mean, I'm already set up uh, pretty well here. I've got Zacian, I've got Melmetal. Didn't use the GX attack, got the KO over there, but... You know, we can even discard their valuable DCEs. And eventually, when I get the Aegis Hash VMAX, there's no way they're going to be able to stop that guy. So, Muscle Band and more Battle Compressor, Acrobatic Shenanigans, Dumping, Drawing. Um, it's all about this sort of thing in this deck. <coughs> Excuse me. So, the Dene 2 and another Banabai. I mean, if they don't really use. Marshadow GX or Mew, those kind of Pokemon, and they have to use like the regular, the actual Mad Party Pokemon. It means even less Pokemon they can dump in the Discord pile, because they need to use them as attackers. So it's even less damage too. I think the best versions of this deck, somehow, some way, either utilize Mew or maybe Marshadow GX, you know, these sort of Pokemon, because it means that you can dump the regular dudes as well and attack. But I guess. If you do face some sort of uh, alternate Krosma, Silent Lab deck, Silent Lab is popular, that does shut you down. So I guess uh, there's a benefit and drawback to it. Okay, so Metal Saucer. Let's get Metal Energies, more Metal Energies on the field. And I'm actually going to go ahead and use Full Metal Wall GX. Now I could, uh, I could have just attacked and just keep going on the offensive. I'll pace the opponent and we should be good. But I'm going to take this slow, you know, block even more damage, discard their energy, wear, wear them down. Uh, maybe you guys are going to think it's unnecessary, but I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm really confident with this matchup. And, you know, once he makes a few attacks and I start healing the damage, you know, he's going to scoop anyway. That's what usually happens because they know they can't win. You know, I played... Would Dark Box against the Night March and other sort of similar, very similar matchups. I guess the 
successors to the older decks and it's just very similar they can't get the one hit KO you heal the damage max potion ruins their day so it, it's easy it, it's not hard so this is what we're gonna do in this case and I can actually even like with 40 HP even just use Lucario Melmetal just use the 50 damage attack still fist and grab an energy too so very very simple so this is what we're gonna do here let me put two energies on you and still attack with him or with them I guess put the other frying pan play down the stadium go for chorus um, we're pretty much good to go I mean I hope he doesn't have field blower and just discards my tools but even if he does that I uh, it, it's still like getting the one hit KO is out of the question okay let's get N with the mail didn't even manually attach an energy go ahead and play that down I've got another Aegis slash VMAX both of them down it's just a perfect setup I can even switch, I guess, if somebody gets hurt. Right, get our second prize. A lot of metal energies on the field. Bronzong, VMAXs. Complete setup, the whole package. And my opponent did take, like, two prizes. But, you know, making another big attack now, I'm obviously going to search for the max potion. Uh, there it is. Okay. So, going to use Skyla to get it and it's gonna negate another turn of attack my opponent did as I get another easy knockout so let's move the energies first and he surrendered so that's a GG pretty simple but yeah I, you won't have usually unless you break I guess unless you break you shouldn't have trouble you know with this deck um, they don't even have a Pokemon to hit you for weakness. Uh, if that was the case, it would have been a different story. So it's just very simple. So let's focus on game two now. Let's see what we got. Uh, no basic. It does suck. I want to have more than 10 basics in this deck, but it's the space thing, like I've said in the deck video. Because of uh, running the VMAX as like the evolution pieces and having to run some different cards... I guess the frying pants to negate the weakness and the additional float stone, which I don't have in Dark Box, I think anyway, because we've got Dark Cry. You know, it just makes it more difficult. You have to sacrifice more space, run some different things. Okay, so gonna open with our Melmetal, which is good. And I don't really want to do this, but I have to sort of use the Juniper, sacrifice the Frying Pan and Bronzong too. It really hurts. I hope I don't really need them. Like the Frying Pan anyway, Bronzong we are going to need. But I don't think my opponent is playing Fire. He opened up with this Mimikyu GX that's going to negate your healing on the bench. Now, this normally won't be a big of a problem because we can use the Max Potion on the active Pokemon. It's usually what we're going to be doing anyway. So it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, and Insta evolved with Wally. Wow. Yeah, that guy's back. Can't forget about that. So Insta evolved into with Wally into this uh, Weezing, the spread Weezing. And this is another deck that's probably not going to be too much trouble. I mean, I don't have Mew with Bench Barrier in this deck. And we do run a bunch of evolved Pokemon. But um, not being able to evolve into them in time is going to get the hurt on Bronzor and Aegislash. So computer search. Let's go ahead and use this. I'm going to discard N and the uh, other Lucario Melmetal. Get the heavy ball. We got to get the evolution dudes quick. So the other Bronzong is here. So might as well get it. And, I mean, Max Potion is going to negate the damage this guy does. So, I'm just going to wait and use it when somebody's close to dying. Or, I guess, has enough damage counters so that I don't allow him to move the damage counters with something like Tapu Lele, if that's in this deck. Uh, but, yeah, 
we're gonna go ahead and discard his energy, I guess, now. I could have maybe done something else, but I'm gonna do this. At least ensure his actual attack is always zero. Can't really afflict anything with that. And that's gonna be it for our turn. They rely on this stadium too, I guess. Just using recycle energy in this case. So would be nice if I see my counter stadiums too. So he makes kind of a smart play using the Baza's orders picking on the Bronzong. Uh, he probably is aware. He knows that maybe I have max potion in this deck. And if Bronzong dies, I can't really utilize it. So let's see. Quick ball. I've got a pretty awkward hand here. What are we going to search? Uh, I guess another Zacian. Just to get it out of the deck. Just to play something. But you know what? I need to leave the space open. So, Okay, Cynthia. Aegis Ash VMAX and the Float Stone. Yeah, I don't really want to bench the DNA. But we might have to. And the other space... Just another Zacian. I searched it, but yeah, it, I don't really need to play another one down. So anyway, we're going to go on the offensive now. Max hack, kill this dude. At least soften up the damage a few turns without this guy spreading. And he surrendered so quick. What the hell? I mean, I don't think I was going to lose this game anyway, but maybe if he could have killed the Bronzong, because I had to discard the other Bronzong too. So, yeah. Anyway, on to game three. I get to flip the coin, and looks like it's my turn. My opponent going to force me to be my turn. Open up with the Dene. Bad start. It is what it is. And let's see what this guy is going to be doing. Zacian. Right. Okay. So we might have a proper match, finally, against Arceus. RC Zacian. So Bridget though. And I guess I was wrong. Grab the Ratatus. I know what this deck is. You guys should too. It's the Raticate deck. So this normally isn't a good matchup. Uh, I guess on paper if you think about it. Since I'm all about using big Pokemon and healing. We don't it doesn't really matter this tactic against Raticate. Since it's going to kill you with the poison and insta damage. But anyway, we're going to try. I've got some regular Pokemon I can use against them to sort of uh, mess with their plan. But I've got this awful start too. What the hell? Shit. All these energies. i got to attach a second one onto Dene. And got to use the Cynthia to shuffle all this shit in. Pretty bad. Uh, let's use, I guess, the Megaphone. Get rid of your Float Stone so that you can't retreat, I guess. And get the Bronzor. I mean, I'm definitely going to be using Bronzongs to attack in this matchup. It's all about getting Metal Energies. And attaching them while the dudes are dying in one shot. Also, I'm not going to be using VMAXs. There's no way I'm going to evolve into the HSS VMAX. Because I'll be doing it for nothing. And hopefully we wear them down. So let me get Zacian and hopefully try and fix our bad hand situation here. What do I do? I think I'm going to have to retreat to to save the energy, save one energy. It's the only way. It sucks, but I got to do what I got to do. Interpret Sword and... We get our three cards. Now, my opponent, his, his strategy is really obvious. It's just get the Ariados out. The old Ancient Origins Ariados, he got that out. Get the old, much, much even older Boundaries Cross Radicates out, which he did. Attach the Triple Acceleration Energies and then go for the Insta-Kill attack. Minus 10 damage counters. Uh, one damage counter, not ten. And through the poison, your dude dies. They can get cheap, easy prizes on even the biggest Pokemon. 
Now, a card I do have in this deck, which I'm glad I included, this is one of the matchups, I guess, where it can help, the Steel Shelter, which is going to prevent our Pokemon from getting uh, status conditions. I can actually use the card in this deck to negate a Riodos. And I guess another Pokemon I forgot to mention in the deck video is that you don't have something like Darkrai EX for Metal Energies, but you do have Cobalion GX, which does have a good GX attack that can stall your opponent out. And if you have it, it ensures you don't have to care about special conditions for Metal Pokemon. Basically like Virizion EX, the old Virizion EX with the amazing Verdant Win ability, if I remember it right. So we're going to get rid of his uh, stadium there, the swell for the other stadium that I don't need. The one that gets rid of my weakness, Ultra of the Sun. But I definitely want to play down the Steel Shelter at the right time and negate his ass. So hopefully give him a little bit of time. Maybe if he runs more stadiums, give him the chance to discard them. And then we'll see what's up. Right, right. And let me just spread the energies a little bit here. So if he kills the Bronzong, I don't lose an energy too, I suppose. Draw three with Zacian and we've got to pass the turn, unfortunately, again. This is a very passive game. Like, he definitely had the advantage so far. I mean, come on, dude. I gave you so much time because of that horrible start I have. I can't really do shit. Gets another Floatstone on the Zacian, so now he can move it out of the way. It's too bad. I would have liked to have killed it and get at least two prizes from that Pokemon. And he searched out Marnie, too. Uses poison as net. So our dudes are poisoned now. I mean, he's definitely going to retreat his own guy. And he's using Skyla. Okay, so he searched Marnie, but he's using Skyla. Uh, I mean, it would have made some sense to use Marnie against my big hand, but he would also have to sacrifice, have to sacrifice his own. So let's see. I'm going to have to promote... Bronzong now and I guess we're just gonna have to start attacking with this guy so metal transfer put the two energies on you and I have computer search let's see what I got heavy ball get the other Bronzong out that should be good and I guess maybe we might use Melmetal but probably as the last sort of a card like, if he's down at one prize or something. Okay, let me get HS-V. I'm going to use this guy, too, as another regular attacker, I guess. Maybe I can use 50 for 2, but it doesn't kill Raticate. Attach the Float Stone. And go for the Computer Search. Discard Cynthia and Juniper. And let me get... Let me get... Do we have a Metal Energy in the Discopal? We must. Otherwise, I wouldn't be grabbing this. But I hope I see something with the Chorus, too. So, three energies in the Bronzong. One of the extremely rare situations where you're going to use this guy to attack. I'm only using him because he's a regular Pokemon. We don't have any other regular Pokemon that can attack here. Mainly because Aegis-V has the attack that goes through effects. So that's why I don't need to commit extra Pokemon for that reason. Okay. We got the Steel Shelter too. But I don't know if I want to use it just just yet. Uh, not yet. But go for the Zen Headbutt attack. And get the KO 70 damage. Easily kill the Eradicate. And that's all we can really do. Like if he's forced to... Use Raticate to kill the Bronzong. He only gets one prize. So his plan sort of uh, doesn't work. And maybe if I'm lucky, I run him out of energies. Or he can't get what he needs. That sort of thing. It's the only thing we can do. So another trainer's mail. He gets the Bridget. That's a useless card right now. And... He's got Guzma, Radata, a few things over there. He's going to play his own computer search now. And get whatever he needs. Discard a special charge. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure he's going to use this computer switch to get like a special energy. Probably something he can't really easily access. And poison the Bronzong. All right. And it's going to attack with Raticate once again. Super Fang, get the KO. But you're only going to get one prize. I mean, the challenge here is getting enough energies to retaliate right back at him. I mean, I'm not going to have Metal Saucers for days. These are probably the last last few. So I, I just, I definitely need him to miss a turn of attacking or something. <sighs> what should I do? Do we play the Steel Shelter? I think I'm going to have to. Uh, use the Cynthia, but I guess I should have maybe used the Field Blower on the Floatstone. One more Metal Saucer. This was definitely the last one. And I'm just barely hanging in. This guy is almost powered up too. So I guess I will have a response on the next turn if he kills this Bronzong. But after that, that's going to be it. I'm not going to have any more energy acceleration. So I'm, I really hope he can't do shit and this still shelter messes with him. He's going to use this cool golden secret rare level ball. Get Raticate. Evolve into it. And the moment of truth, teammates, is going to get any two cards he needs. One of them is probably going to be an energy. And then I hope he doesn't have like a counter stadium. But he surrendered right there. So I guess he didn't have anything for the steel shelter, which is great. So we got ourselves a victory. Hope you guys enjoyed these matches. Hope you guys subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What's say?